the lady tapped me on the shoulder in church one day and uh, said, you just have the most beautiful voice. Growing up in Central City, Kentucky, music has always been a part of Jay Dozer's life. Just want to be in a rock band. So I moved to Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, tried to start a band there, didn't happen, and then moved to Atlanta. You just get into the cover band, you kind of settle in. Like many aspiring musicians, he had hoped to make it big. While singing in cover bands at night, Dozer worked at a job creating parts for industrial sewing machines by day. I got married at 30 and I had a family. It was just like, I'm just going to be a cover band singer and I'm going to be a machinist and, and do both. And they complement each other. In his spare time, Dozer's boss let him use that metal shop to master the art of making custom microphone stands for musicians and a new passion evolved. I know being a machinist, what a singer likes, when I customize a mic stand, I know if they want it light, how it's supposed to feel, how it's supposed to look on stage. He went on to start his own business, Metal Dozer, and with social media and word of mouth help, it took off. I got the call and it said LA, so I took the call and he said, hey, I'm Prince's guitar tech. He wants to order some mic stands, so I basically just dropped everything I was doing. He wanted every bell and whistle I could make. He wanted uh, accessories to go all over. He wanted it, two of them purple and two of them gold, and it was fantastic. Dozer says it's the little details that make his stand so special. You know, I make them uh, personalized, really. I could put signatures on. I make them, they're definitely lighter. I make them out of aluminum, usually. They might want it nickel plated. They might want it chrome plated, powder coated a certain color. His list of clients now include a host of musicians, including Robert Plant, Billy Idol, Backstreet Boys, Tony Braxton, Lady Antebellum, Reba McIntyre, and even Marilyn Manson. While he's not making a ton of money for his stands, he's happy to build them and meet the people he loves. These people that you've idolized all your life, and you meet them and you get to see them on stage using something that you made in your own little dungeon here, it's really cool.